Hello everyone, welcome back. iOS 18 Beta has been released, and many of its new features are still very attractive. Among them, the new features of the Photos app have been discussed the most in the community. Now, let's take a look at what is worth noting. First, we can see that the most significant change in the Photos app is the redesigned Unified View. The new Unified View combines the Photo Grid and the Dates Grid into one, offering a fresh layout for your photos. You can check the photo timeline here and filter photos by categories. The app automatically generates albums based on events, locations, and people. You can also modify its layout. And if you don't change it, the familiar media type section will be positioned lower on the screen. The search functionality and interactive memories features have also become more flexible and intelligent. Now, you can freely change filters and music to easily edit your memorable moments. iOS 18 Beta also introduces AI-powered photo editing features. However, these AI features will not be available until Apple releases them in this form. The Photos app has changed a lot, but in my experience, these new modifications feel quite cumbersome to use. There are also many bugs, like if you want to move the Memories tab to the end, the app may crash, and you may not able to close the Modify page or see a selfie with weird colors on your widget. I feel like this update was rushed and has a lot of shortcomings. Many people on Reddit think so too. I really miss the simpler and more straightforward Photos app from before. If you are also not satisfied with iOS 18 beta and want to go back to the previous version, you can try to downgrade your phone back to iOS 17.5 with Reiboot or iTunes. Check out the video card or the link in the description if you are interested. To downgrade your phone, you may need to back up your data first. However, iTunes may not show the summary page for iOS 18 beta right now, and then you can't back up your data in iTunes. It may be released several days later, so you can check back to see if iTunes is supporting iOS 18 beta backup. Alternatively, you can back up your data in Finder, which works the same way. If you can't do the backup using these methods, you can use iCareFone to back up your data to your computer or an external hard drive. It has backup and restore functions, allowing you to restore the whole backup or just select parts of it without restoring the entire device. So, do you like this photo update? What other features do you like in iOS 18 beta? Leave a comment below to discuss with others and consider subscribing to our channel to get more useful info. Have a nice day and see you next time.